Outlaws are about to take on the Wildcats of Clarksville. It is homecoming night, and we would like to thank you for joining us as our uh, live stream has started from DyerCountyChoctawSports.com. And Bubba Cobb, uh, big night for football tonight. It is. It's we've got a nice home crowd here for homecoming night. Uh, the weather's not predicted to be very good because of the uh, possibility of a rain. But uh, I was real proud that we, we usually take a better crowd to Clarksville than Clarksville brought here tonight, as we've had several good crowds that, as we've taken to Henry County and Clarksville last year and this year. Well, you can actually see uh, Clarksville's brought a few people over, but you can see uh, some of our people filling in across the way there. And, yeah. and uh, I see umbrellas coming out already, too. <laughs> so, that's right. So. So it must be football time in Dyer County as Dyer County will be kicking off to start the ball game. And Dyer County is in all orange tonight. They have orange jerseys, orange pants, white numerals, white helmets. And the Wildcats from Clarksville, they're dressed in white with white pants, white jersey, white helmet. Logan Cartwright will be kicking off for Dyer County. It should be an interesting ball game here as it's a region ball game as Clarksville High School comes in, number nine in the state. Kickoff goes over to the right hash mark at the 10-yard line, up to 15, the 20. On, going to the sideline, he's going to be taken down as he gets across the 25, about the 28-yard line. Tackle was made by Josh Stewart, the sophomore defensive back for Dyer County. So Ford Cooper will be bringing the Wildcats out on the field as they're heading up on the sideline. And the ball is going to be spotted right at the 28-yard line. First down and 10 as Clarksville High School. Not to be confused with Northeast or Northwest. Which we will see <laughs> next week will be we, Northwest. We saw Northeast last week, Northwest next week. And Clarksville tonight, they have two wide receivers to each side. Forward to quarterback, Ford Cooper the quarterback. Hands off to Sam Smith. He's going to try up the middle. He gets across the 30 to about the 32-yard line. So about a four-yard pickup on the play. Dyer County did a good job of closing the hole. They had a hole between the tackles, but uh, Dyer County moved quickly to close it up. See, Sam Smith is a 6-foot, uh, 188, and they can go to the left side, and it's a foot race down the sideline, and it's going to be all of Clarksville as they just go what from the 32-yard line, 68-yard touchdown. And Cooper keeps the ball to the left side, and he goes 68 yards, a quick opening, quick scoring touchdown for Clarksville. As Clarksville goes ahead, 6 to nothing here with 11.25 gone, just 35 seconds into the ball game. Clarksville goes on top 6 to nothing as no one took responsibility for the quarterback. And Ford Cooper goes 68 yards for the touchdown. And we watch the kicker. In pregame, he had an excellent la leg, and he kicks it. It's up, and it's good. Good. So makes it 7 to nothing with 35 seconds gone in the ball game. So Clarksville High School is taking a 7 to nothing lead, so let's take a 30-second break reminding you this is Dyer County Chantal football on Jack FM. Are you ready to show off your school spirit every time you make a purchase? At Security Bank, we not only are your friend hometown bankers, we are also community supporters just like you. Hi, I am Pam Tucker. Come get your new community card at any Security Bank location to start showing off your school spirit. Not only will you have a card with your favorite school's logo on it, you will also be making a one-time $5 donation to that school. You can give back and be on the cutting edge of technology with the CHIP Secured School Debit Card. Good luck to all area teams this year. Security Bank, member FDIC. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, two plays and 72 yards as it was capped off by a 68-yard touchdown run, and just like that, 7-0 Clarksville. Well, I'll tell you what, in kickoff, it's going to go deep into the end zone. It hits about eight yards deep in the end zone and bounces out. And as we talk to the radio guys from Clarksville, they said they're Varsity kicker is pretty good. The freshman is Kicker's even better. better. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy put it eight yards deep in the end zone. So Dyer County is going to take over first and ten at their own 20-yard line. Dyer County would like to get something going here. So they really <laughs> have a good kicking game. So Dyer County. And We've seen good kicking games all season long, Bubba. 
And who, who's starting here tonight in the backfield? Josh Stewart is quarterback for Dyer County. First time, first pass out to the right side. This is incomplete. So Josh Stewart gets his first start of the year at quarterback tonight. He's been starting in, in the second and uh, on defense, but starts out at quarterback tonight. So Dyer County has an incomplete pass. Second down and ten at their own twenty now. Two wide receivers to the right side. We'll have three trips over to the right side. Single wide receiver to the left. Jeffrey Taylor in the backfield along with Stewart. Stewart back to pass, looking to the right side. He's going to throw it short. It's going to be complete, but then it's going to be, you know, it's in route. I thought it was complete. It, there, no, I thought it was, but then he waved it incomplete. Brings it back to the 20-yard line. I thought he caught it, but apparently not. All right. Incomplete pass. Over brings to up, Josh Stewart here to begin the night. Brings up third down and 10 from Dyer County's 20-yard line. Now we've got Jeffrey Taylor coming out in the slot on the left side. Two wide receivers each side. Scotty Dillard in the backfield. The Stewart, Stewart's got rushed, and he's going to be snowed under and thrown for a loss as we didn't get any time at all to even look downfield. So it's going to bring up fourth down and 10. Our fourth down in, in uh, about eight yards, about, a seven yeah, yard 16. loss. So about 17 yards to go with the first down. Caden Stafford back to punt for Dyer County. He's going to punt, looks like, from his own end zone. We're pretty close. Yeah, he's standing right on the goal line right now. And they've got a little 10 men up the line of scrimmage. So short kick is going to come down at the 35-yard line, rolls down, and it's going to roll down about the 46-yard line. So it's going to be first down and 10 at the Dyer County 46-yard line. As Dyer County did not move the ball at all. In fact, lost seven yards on that possession. Well, Dyer County now defensively is going to have to, <coughs> excuse me, have a short memory uh, on that one play. Everybody was keying on Sam Smith, and that just allowed Ford Cooper to get outside. And once he got outside, it was a foot race to the end zone. Oh, man, it, and he just outran everybody. Of course, everybody's got outstanding quarterbacks this year in the region. They come up there, lined up on the right hash mark. Trip receivers to the right, one wide receiver to the left. Cooper, the quarterback. Sam Smith in the backfield along with him. Man in motion. A jet sweep it goes to the left side. That's Hicks. He's going to try to get outside. He, he gets by one man, and the second man gets him. He picks up down around the 42-yard line. So about a four-yard pickup that time by Hicks as he lined up in the slot, went in motion, got the ball going towards his left, tried to get outside. Dyer County did a pretty good job containing, pick up four yards on the play, second down and six. Time to have trips to the left side. One wide receiver there on the left hash mark. Forward back to pass, throwing deep. He's got a man, a single coverage, and it's going to be incomplete. And a good defense at times that times uh, that uh, Garrett Sawyer. Is that Sawyer's over there? Yeah. yeah. He won't turn around so I can see his numbers. But you can see like his, his hair, walk. though. Yeah. His, his hair sticks it, out from under that hill. He looked like his walk. That's right. 9.47 remaining in the first quarter. Dyer County trading 7 to nothing. Trips again to the left side. Try to jet sweep. Oh, uh, for Cooper keeps it once again right up the middle, and he's going to get it across the 30, across the 25, down to the 25-yard line. Pick up another first down for Carswell. i tell you what, they, we're trying to contain him outside, and Cooper is keeping the ball and moving it up himself. So a first down and 10 at the Dyer County 25-yard line. This time we have trips to the right, man in motion towards the left. Time handoff once again on the jet sweep, and he's going to pick up a Inside the 25 to about the 23-yard line. A couple-yard pickup on the play. Well, they've used Quante Hicks uh, quite a bit tonight. Already twice here in this uh, in this drive on that jet sweep. They seem to like that. So it's going to be second down and about eight yards to go for the first down for Clarksville. Trips to the right once again. 
Back to pass this time. Looking over to the left. It's one on one coverage. And, and it's over the man. And it's going to be incomplete. Good coverage that time in Dyer County. As it was. Yeah, that was team. number 11, Devin Bender, who was out there. And he is head and shoulders taller than the Dyer County defender. But it uh, didn't matter. The Dyer County defender slapped it away at the last minute. And that made a whole lot of noise and an incompletion. Third down at eight for Clarksville at the Dyer County. 23-yard line. 8.53 remaining in the first quarter. Dyer County trading 7 to nothing. Chips once again. They're going to fake it to him, and Cooper Ford's, Ford Cooper's going to keep it. He's going to drive the right side. He's going to be run out of bounds about the 12-yard line. So that's going to be enough for another first down for Clarksville. That's their second in the ball game. So... I'll tell you what, the most effective running, runner they have so far has been Ford Cooper, the quarterback. Yeah, three carries, 91 yards already on the night. He's six foot 193, it says. Looks more like 200. First down and 10. Two wide receivers each side. Smith in the backfield along with Ford. Handoff, uh, fake the handoff and pitch over to the left side. And we've got a good job that time containing him. And he's going to pick up a yard or so on the play. Is that Dante Hurt he pitched it to? Uh, yes, you? and he was going from the right to the left. He tried to get outside. Dyer County did a good job coming up. Maybe picked up about two yards on the play. Yeah, that could have been – we were fooled up here, and that could have been a disaster. But uh, Dyer County stayed home and made the play. Trips once again to the left side. Cooper – Change the play. Get everybody lined up. Man in motion from the left to the right. Gave it to Smith up the middle. He's going to get about to the six-yard line. So nice job that time. Once again, the Dyer County defense, they stopped it up the middle. But it's going to bring up third down, about, what, about four yards to go for the first down. They can get a first down without scoring. Trips to the right once again. Man in motion from the right, right to the left. They fake that. Hand it off up the middle. Cooper Ford's going to keep it once again, and he's going to keep it himself. And I'll tell you what, he does a good job of faking, and then he kept it and took it off the middle. They have the man in motion, fake it to him, and then he kept it himself right up the middle. So Ford Cooper, the quarterback, has scored two touchdowns, one for 68 yards, and this one for just eight. So 13 to nothing, Clarksville High School is ruining Dyer County's homecoming. Kick is up, the kick is also good. So with 7.30 remaining in the first quarter, Dyer County falls behind by a score of 14 to nothing. So let's take a 30 second break reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw Football on Jack FM. On one one. Officer, I'd like to file a report. I witnessed a robbery. A uh, robbery? Yes, at Sonic. I saw a man steal a quarter pound double cheeseburger and tots for only two ninety nine. He was about six one, brown hair, blue shirt, big smile. Wait, so he did actually pay just two ninety nine? I better check this out. Boss, I'm going on lunch. It's a steal, all right. The Car Hop Classic, a quarter pound double cheeseburger or slinger plus tots for only two ninety nine. This is how you Sonic. Text not included. See menu for details for a limited time. Only participating Sonic drive-ins. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. It looked good from here, but I'm not sure uh, Mr. Larry Fessmeyer hadn't put it up on the scoreboard yet, so we better double check and make sure that the referee signaled good. So it may, may have been no good. So Clarksville. Kicking off for the first uh, for the second time. It's a short kickoff this time. Goes over to the Dyer County right side and is going to fall on it before it goes out of bounds. 26 yard line and we was hoping it was going to go out of bounds, and, but it was short and we mishandled it and went back and lay on top of it. So Dyer County is going to have this possession first and ten at their own 26 yard line. So a little better field position than we had last time as we started our first possession at the 20, but we ended up punting from the 13 as we lost seven yards in that series. This time we'll come up two running backs and we'll hand it to the 
second man through, and he gets back up the line of scrimmage, hopefully. Yeah, he's gonna, they're going to give him about a yard. That was Scotty Dillard on the carry. As we had two running backs in the backfield behind, uh, along with Josh Stewart this time. Josh Stewart, a quarterback tonight for Dyer County. As Dyer County comes out with two running backs in the backfield. And one wide receiver to the left this time. And the backs ran the wrong way. And he's going to lose the football. And then his ball's loose on the full ground at the 25-yard line. I think Dyer County got back on top of it. But we held Still it trying to fight at the bottom of the pile, but Dyer County does come up with it. And that was Caden Stafford saving the possession right there. So that was an unusual formation for Dyer County as we only had one wide receiver. And that's uh, Bryce Camps out here to the left side. Now we're going to go with Stafford to the right. Also, Jeffrey Taylor spreading out with him on the right side. He's got a Dillard in the backfield along with Josh Stewart. So we have trips on the right side. Josh Stewart looking over to the right. He's going to pass right. It's the short man. It's going to be incomplete. Again, uh, we lost one yard on that possession, so it's going to be fourth down with 11 yards to go. So we've had two possessions. We've lost eight yards. Caden Stafford back to punt once again for Dyer County. I'll tell you, hurt back deep. He's at his own 42-yard line, waiting on the punt. Kick goes straight up in the air, and it's going to come down at the 25-yard line, and it's, it's loose on the ground, and the ball's free, uh, and it's going to be Clarksville ball. It looked like we might have a chance to recover that as Clarksville touched it there. Well, Clarksville blocked it, yeah. and it went straight up in the air, and then Dyer County... Uh, Came down, came, and, when, yeah. and when the Clarksville players touched it, then it's a live ball. It's a live ball after that. Now, after the block, it's not a live. It's a live ball still, but it's not a free ball. That we wouldn't have been able to do anything. But if we after they touched it, down it, we, yeah. we could have got it. But it's first down and ten for Clarksville. At they're going to spot the ball at the 28-yard line. So we have a. Sonic timeout on the field. So let's take a 30 second break reminding you this is Dyer County Chautauqua football on Jack FM. Okina Termite and Pest Control has been in business since 1962. Okina is locally owned and operated, is now serving Southeast Missouri and Northwest Tennessee. Call your good friends at Okina and take advantage of the $29.99 General Pest Control Service for new customers only. Okina also offers attic insulation, air duct cleaning, and floor support. Check out their website at okina.com. Be sure to click quick quote to start your free quote with no hassle or give Okina a call at 731-285-4982. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Clarksville High School spread out to the east side. Smith in the backfield, man, most from left to right. Take the him. Pass across the middle. Oh, it's thrown behind the receiver, and the closest person to the ball was Garrett, Garrett Sawyer. Garrett Boy. Sawyer. Yeah, he uh, he's, he slapped his helmet. He said, "Man, I had an opportunity uh, right there, and there was nothing but green grass between yeah. him and the uh, the end zone." Yeah, and he would have been way out in front of everybody. Yeah, he would. To catch Dante him. Hurt cut over in front of him. The pass was thrown behind Hurt, and if Sawyer would have got his hands on it, that was six trips to the left side this time. Ford Cooper, the quarterback, made a motion from the left to the right. He stops, uh, hand out, uh, fakes to Smith. Cooper keeps it once again. He's at the 10 and going to be taken down about the 8-yard line. I'll tell you what, we're going to have to contain him. We're gonna, we, they gotta, they got to sign somebody on him. They're just letting him go. And and, and letting him go is it. Yeah, <laughs> they're letting him go to get the, the, the runners. Oh, they're about up at the line of scrimmage once again. A quick snap, hand off this. Oh, uh, this time they were ready for him. They faked it to Smith. And Cooper got it, and he got buried that time. As he got, he lost about a yard on the play back to the nine-yard line. But he does an excellent job faking. He does an excellent job when he hands off and fakes. He does an excellent job of keeping the ball and going from there. So it brings up second down at eight. Oh, second goal. Second 
The handoff this time to Smith, and he's going to get up to about the five-yard line. So did a good job that time of stopping Smith, but we've done a good job most of the time with Smith. It's Cooper. Yeah, Sam Smith, three carries, nine yards. Uh, Quante Hicks, uh, two carries for six yards. Dante Hardy carry for two yards, and six carries for Ford Cooper, 110. Yeah. <laughs> two wide receivers to the left. Hand off to the first back through, going to the right side, and he's going to get up to the goal line. He's good in the end zone. So a touchdown. Across the high school once again. That's I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. The number nine team in the state is looking pretty good tonight against us. Yes, they certainly are. And we're not playing the defense we played last week at all. So with with 4:39 remaining in the first quarter, Dyer County falls behind 20 to nothing as. He now attempts the third extra point, and the kick is up. It's plenty high. It's plenty good. So with 439 remaining in the first quarter, Dyer County falls behind 21 to nothing. So let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County Choctaw Football on Jack FM. FM. This is Holly, the pharmacist at Neighborhood Pharmacy. We are proud to have served Dyersburg and surrounding areas for over a year now, and we are very thankful for your committed service. We are locally owned and strive to provide services you will not find at a chain pharmacy. If you haven't had a chance to visit us, you are missing out on friendly service, fast wait times, and a convenient drive through The Neighborhood Pharmacy, we are more than your pharmacy. We are your neighborhood pharmacy. Find us at 1950 St. Avenue or call you're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM WASL Dyersburg. Dyer County trails at 21 to nothing, and they're about to receive their third kickoff after the uh, third touchdown that has been made. And Total opinion kicking off once again. Good strong leg. Time he pooches it, it's going to come down about the 40-yard line, and Dyer County dies for it and comes up with it. He's been kicking them way, way deep. It's uh, at least he's, I guess he's just trying to kick them short like that. Oh yeah, it wasn't even yeah. an onside kick. Mm -mm. But well, but it would have been a live ball if, if. Uh, well, he's trying Dark to get it in a, in a dead spot there between players, and hopefully they can come down and get it, but. We're going to take over about to our own 40-yard line. First down and 10, great great field position for us. Now let's do something with it. Let's do something with it. Yeah. We've had two possessions and lost eight eight yards total offense so far. Two wide receivers each side. Ball's on the right hash mark. Dyer County's going from our right to left. we got a man open. It's Jeffrey Taylor. He, oh, came, he came down with it. Hit oh, him in the hands. Oh, he oh, had it goodness. and juggled it and dropped it, and we were wide open. We were behind the res uh, defender. He was down about the 40-yard line, could not bring it in, and that would have been an easy score. If that was a touchdown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had him fooled. We hit, we were by him. All right, Dyer County, second down and 10. Ball at Dyer County's 40-yard line. Two wide receivers to each side. Jeffrey Taylor once again in the backfield. Oh, Jeffrey Taylor in the, on left slot and the ball was fumbled and the Clarks were going to come up with it. Scotty Dillard was in the backfield and the ball was to be handed off and the ball was fumbled and recovered by Clarksville. First down and 10, Clarksville. Now they've got the ball in excellent field position at the Dyer County 38 yard line. Four Dyer County three. has sputtered offensively tonight. It's, oh. been a, it's been a struggle for them. To uh, to try to get uh, to get it together here on the on homecoming night. Oh, Jeffrey had one go in and out of his hands and uh, had a good opportunity for Garrett Sawyer's on an interception that would have been six. Would have. Uh, but would have, could have, should have. I mean, yeah. it's, they still have to play the game. There's a long way to go. We're still in the first quarter. Carlson comes out. Two wide receivers on each side. Man in motion. Pass over to the right side. And Dyer County does a great job. Garrett Sawyer once Sawyer, again. Yeah. Woo! He comes up and smacks him. Sure did. Or as we say in the South, show did. Show did. Show did. I'll tell you what. That's a good defensive effort right there. We got a man-to-man -man coverage over here. And when you when you go against Clark like that, we've got a quick pitch out to the left side, and he's going to 
be taken. Oh, he's going to slip by that tackle as we had him for about a four-yard gain, and then he got out of that tackle and got up close to the first down. Now, was that just a was that a pitch out or was that a forward pass? Well, I think it was a backward pass. Okay, but it. Well, it's going to be enough for their fourth first down. As they move the ball, spot the, spot the ball about the 27-yard line of Dyer County. Man in motion once again from left to right. Uh, right, uh, right. And they go right up the middle this time. That's Smith, and he's going to break free all the way for the touchdown. I'll tell you what, we haven't been able to stop anybody up the no. middle tonight as we're not coming up and making the stop. And then with 310 remaining in the first quarter, Dyer County Trump falls behind 27 to nothing. And we're just not looking sharp at all on offense or defense. And it's the second touchdown for Sam Smith. Five carries, 42 yards. Kick is up once again. And I'll tell you what, he's got a strong leg. Kick is good. 28 to nothing with 310 remaining in the first quarter. Let's take a 30 second break remaining in this Dyer County Chautauqua football on Jack FM. Oh, hi. You up for a refreshing break from your day with bubbly sparkling water? Eight flavors, no calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. Popping like the top off a bottle and I ain't stopping yet. Yeah. It's a brand new day. Ain't no clouds hanging over me. Something doesn't feel the same. The rest of my life gonna start. Bubbly sparkling water. Crack a smile. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, 28 nothing to score and three minutes, 10 seconds to go here in the first quarter still uh, as Dyer County finds themselves in a big hole and back to receive uh, again for the fourth time will be the Choctaws. And Tyler Pena back to kick off once again as he approaches the ball. It's pushes it down the middle. And he, we take it about the 25-yard line. And we got an opening up to the 35, the 40, and finally drove down as he gets across the 40-yard line. And I'll tell you what, he's experimenting with his kickoffs, I guess, because I saw him kick off in the end zone all pregame. He must be, and that was uh, number nine, Dyer County's uh, quarterback Josh that uh, came off, Josh Stewart. But he is not in there as Dane Patterson has come back and in. Dane Patterson. Any quarterback now for Dyer County. 3.05 remaining in the first quarter. Let's see what Dane Patterson can do. He's going to hand off to Jeffrey Taylor. we got an opening. That's 45, the 50. He's at the 45, the 40. He makes a cutback, and he cuts back again, and he's going to be taken down at the 38-yard line, and that is the first instant insurance first down for Dyer County tonight. And I don't know whether Dane Patterson coming in the ball game, livening up the offense or what, but they look good when they – well, he out there. Sure did. Jeffrey Taylor got out of the hole in a hurry. So we have two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Pitch back once again. Jeffrey Taylor going to the right side. He's going to get across the 35, and he's going to be draw- driven back. I think they're going to give him far progress to the 33-yard line. And the line of scrimmage was 37, so about a, a four-yard five pickup. Yards. Look at there, about five yards almost. All right. And Dyer kind of gets up to the line of scrimmage pretty quick. Of course, they run a no huddle. And the spread. Yes, and they do it quick. But, of course, that's the same thing Clarksville was doing tonight, too. And off once again, we're going to try to get it outside. Jeffrey Taylor gets it outside. He gets across the 30 to about the 26-yard line. Be close to the first and down. And they're stopping the clock like it is enough for the first down. So they are. They're going to change. move the sticks. Another hits an insurance first down for Dyer County. First down in 10 for Dyer County. Three carries, 32 yards on this drive right here for Jeffrey Taylor. And Joe Falcon is out on playing offense right now. He's the second running back in the backfield along with Jeffrey Taylor. Hand off up the middle of Jeffrey Taylor, and he's going to be hit at the 30-yard line, thrown for a loss. Well, they got to show they can stop it before they're going to stop running Jeffrey on it. And right there it was. That's going to be a what a loss of uh, maybe three, four yards, three uh, yards. Yeah, as they knock him back at the 30-yard line, he never got started on that play. So it's going to be second down and about 12 yards, 13 yards to go for the first down for Dyer County. Thing Patterson back over to the sideline, talking to the coaches, gets the play. 
Slopes is going back. Jeffrey Taylor's going to line up behind him. Joe Falcon to his right. He's going to pitch to Jeffrey Taylor coming to the, going to the right side. He's going to get it outside the end. He's going to cut inside the 25. And we've got a football. And the ground. Uh, yep. He put it on the ground. Oh, no, lost another fumble yep. as Clarksville comes up with a loose football on the, on the field. Oh. Now, we've gone a lot of games without any fumbles this year, and all of a sudden we've had two lost tonight. In the first quarter. In still the first 50, quarter, yeah. 54 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Dyer County trails at 28 nothing, And this and is the worst field position, really, that they've started with yeah. is right here. And we were showed some life on offense. We were moving the football against them that time. Mm. A little, little more pep in our step, a little better blocking, a little better running. So, Clarksville has the ball first down and 10 at their own 17-yard line. And Ford keeps it, goes back to the, well, he's going to be. He threw it to the left side. Left side. Get over there to Devin Bender. I tell you what, they had, everybody going, he had everybody going from the left to the right side. And I went with the flow when he goes back to the, to the left side. And they pick about five yards on the play. He is two of seven for 11 yards. Two wide receivers to each side once again. They're lined up on the left hash mark. Right, gave it to Smith that time. I, I'm hesitant now about saying he handed it off or faked it because yeah. he, he rides him in there and does such a good job with the fake. But that time he rode in there and gave it to Smith. He gets across to the 26-yard line. Well, and it's difficult, and especially for the Dyer County defense, to see at what point does he hand the ball yeah. off or tuck it. Right, then because you, the ball is pretty much hidden from them. You need to go up and tackle both of them. That's right. So that's going to be the end of the first quarter. So at the end of one, Dyer County is trailing homecoming here, 28 to nothing. So let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw Football on Jack FM. Yates General Appliance and Furniture Company. We make sure you get what you need. Your satisfaction is guaranteed. The best service, the best price. Folks who really treat you nice. Yates General Appliance and Furniture Company. In historic downtown Dyersburg since 1947. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM WASL Dyersburg. Well, Dyer County spotted them uh, 28 points here in the first quarter. It's 28 nothing as we head into the second quarter. And Coach Whittle is uh, talking with his team and I'm sure likely mm. telling them to uh, let's put that behind us. We've got to uh, play some good football. And this is not the same team that played the first half last week. In, no. At Clarksville Northeast. I mean, this is not – They. I don't know whether they're distracted by homecoming or what, but that did not look like the same team we saw play last week. But they can start it out right now. As you said, they need to have a short memory mm -hmm. and get to work right here. So we flipped into the field. Now Clarksville High School is going from our right to our left. They're on the left hash mark. Going to give it this. Uh, going to, going to pull it, it back and through it. Yeah. <laughs> and once again, he, he rolled, rolled Smith into the middle. And he pulled it back out and threw it down the field. Then it's complete. Well, that is his uh, eighth pass. He's two for eight for 11 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. But like you say, he, he's good at faking the ball. Slide a hand. He'd be a good magician. Mm -hmm. Second down and 10. And Coach Whittle's doing something. He's got somebody there. We have a safety that's going way deep. And once again, he's going to hand off this time to Smith right up the middle, and he's going to be called after a short game. Is that going to be close to the first down? No. He didn't get any. He's right there. It's going to be now fourth and two. Yeah. Fourth down and two. The ball spotted at the 28-yard go line, and they're going to bring in the chains. They're going to uh -huh. bring in the chains. Well, they did give him a good spot. Well, I don't see. I, I don't like when they move the ball from where the ball was down. To another yeah. position, and, and then, then try to measure, and That's then bring right. the chain in. That might be a new procedure now, but they used to not do that. Mm -mm. 
But now he's going to hold the ball still. And I thought, well, they've just passed it. going to be short a little bit, I think. Inches. And that was fourth down. Oh, that was fourth, fourth down. Well. So, so fourth down and two, and Dyer County holds them, and it's going to be Dyer County ball in great field position now as the ball is spotted at about the 28-yard line of Clarksville. Well, that's, and that's, that's really a spark for the Dyer County defense right there, too, because that's almost like saying we don't respect your defense. If you go for it, you know, inside yeah. your own 30 yeah. um, on fourth down. Well, this is where, you know, we phoned it as we were driving a while ago. Now we, we get it back over on downs. We're going to pitch back to the left side to Jeffrey Taylor. He's going to try to get outside. They keep spreading it down. He finally, oh, tries to cut it up. He's going to pick up a few yards, but. He was he, waiting for his blocking to develop. Yeah, it just didn't quite get out there. And Tarsler did a good job of stringing it out and spreading mm -hmm. it out, springing it out to the sideline. And we cut it up and pick up a couple yards on the play. But then moving back, we, we must have a flag on the far side. I didn't see it. Yep, I do now. Yep. And we haven't seen the referee yet come out. He's got to come over here to our sideline and our side. And tell us what it is. Yeah. We're we going to hold against Dyer County. Okay. Okay. So, it's going to be first and 15. First and... Hmm. Well, the ball spot is a 35. First and 17, yeah. then. So, the line of scrimmage is what, about the 27-yard line, 28. So, now we've got wide receivers, two on this side, one on the other side, two. And why is the ball snapped? when nobody was ready. We weren't ready. No, we had to down it. Yeah. So that was, um, I guess that's a run play for yeah. Patterson. Yeah, I mean, it okay. snap was right to him, and he took a knee. We lost five right there. Didn't look like, and, and nobody fired off. Nobody moved, so the only one that thought that was a snap was the center. So Patterson probably did the smart thing. Since he, he probably went, did, yeah. Didn't have any blocking, wasn't going to have any. This time we pitch it back. We're going to have a halfback pass thrown it downfield the right sideline. We can get complete to Caden Stafford at the 10 yard line. And I'll That's tell you what, first down and 10 for Dyer County at the 9 yard line. That nice pass, that halfback pass. Jeffrey Taylor gets it, rolls to the right side, throws it downfield. Caden Stafford was covered man to man, and he did a really good job of getting. In position to catch the ball, he caught it, and we have a hits and insurance first down. First down and gold at the nine yard line. And this is our first sniff of territory down in Clarksville. First time, yeah, we've been yeah. in the red zone. And we making sure we get the right play called in here. Two, uh, two wide receivers to the right, one to the left, two running backs in the backfield along with. Uh, Patterson, he hands it off to the man to the left side. He's going to get across the five-yard line. Struggles down close, and he gets down about the two-yard line. And go from the nine to the two. That is a seven-yard pickup, and that's Scotty Dillard. He's got eight, car uh, eight yards on two carries tonight. So he gets down to, gets down about the one-yard line. First down, uh, second down and goal from the two. I'm um, from the one. Second and one from the second and goal from the one. I'll get you right in a minute, Chuck. As we look to the sideline, get the play, going back. We've got two wide receivers to the right, one to the left, two running backs in the backfield along with Patterson. Patterson gets the snap, hands it to the second man through, and he's going to go in for the touchdown for the score. Untouched. Scotty Diller for the touchdown for Dyer County. Dyer County gets on the board finally here. 9-17 remaining in the first half. Dyer County now trails 28-6 as we were just being too hospitable by giving Clarksville the 28 to nothing lead here. But it's 28 to six now. And Logan Cartwright coming in to attempt the extra point for Dyer County. Caden Stafford to hold. He was the one that made the catch, getting us in position to score here. He kept the drive alive right there. Good snap, kick is up, kick is plenty long, it's good. So with 9-17 remaining in the first half. Dyer County cuts it to 28-7. So let's take a 30-second break reminding you this is Dyer County Chantal football on Jack FM. 
the field. Are you ready to show off your school spirit every time you make a purchase? At Security Bank, we not only are your friendly hometown bankers, we are also community supporters just like you. Hi, I am Pam Tettleton. Come get your new community card at any security bank location to start showing off your school spirit. Not only will you have a card with your favorite school's logo on it, you will also be making a one-time $5 donation to that school. You can give back and be on the cutting edge of technology with the CHIP Secure School Debit Card. Good this year. Security Bank, number FDIC. You're listening to Dyer County Sports on 100 Jack FM WASL Dyersburg. Well, 28 to 7, Dyer County is got it to a 21 point lead right here and it's going to kick off. And uh, defensively, Dyer County held them on fourth down and then drove to score. So maybe we're seeing a, a bit of a shift in momentum here, Bubba. I hope so. Logan Carwright to kick off. He's good, good high kickoff going to be taken down at the 10 yard line. He's at the 15 to 20, and they're going to say he was down at the 10. Well, that was the same thing that happened to uh, Northeast yeah, last yeah. week. He goes down to a knee and then tries to get up and run, and you can't. Mm -hmm. In uh, high school ball, it's uh, you're not touched to be down. Do you you touch the ball and that knee goes yeah. down? I don't care where you are, yeah. you're down. And I don't know whether, of course, we can't hear the whistle up here. So apparently, it'll be close to the ten yard line. Yeah. So, so that's where the ball came down. Is right around the ten yard line. So it's going to be first down and ten from the ten for Clarksville. As they lead here at homecoming, 28 to 7 over our homestanding Chautauqua. Two wide receivers, uh, three wide receivers away on the right side. Back to pass, he's going to throw into single coverage, and we'll have an interference call against yeah. our county. And that was a good call. Oh, Scotty yeah. was on him. I didn't like it, but it was, it was a correct call. It's just I don't yes, have to was. like it, though. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, Scotty Dillard got in there a little early for uh, defensively, yeah. and the pass was right on the money. So. Oh, it was, and it, and we probably kept it from being completion. Yeah. So it was a correct call. We just wish we didn't do it. But they're going to step it off against Dyer County, and it's going to be first down and 10, and the ball is going to be spotted at the 25-yard line after the 15-yard step off. And that is the fifth first down for the Wildcats. As they lead 28 to 7 over Dyer County. One wide receiver to the right, to the left, two running backs. As handoff this time to Smith up the middle. He's going to try to move the pile, and the pile moves back. I'll tell you what, good defensive effort that time by the middle of the defense for Dyer County. Good gang tackle. Mm hmm. As the initial contact was made up front, they just drove him back from there, but he's going to forward part. It's going to be marked at the 30. So they're going to say he picked up about five yards on the play. Second and five. And it looks a little similar to us, like a single wing with the backs in there. This time Smith gets it. He's going to get it to the 30 and get 31 yard line. That's going to be it. Flag is going to go down on the backfield, and I'm not so sure the the Dyer County defensive lineman had the jersey, but I don't think he got the mask. I think that's going to be a holding call yeah. on the offense. And I'll tell you what, that, that was a good defensive effort right there. It was. As they get Smith as we put him down. Is that Remy Halliburton, I think, that got his jersey on the yeah. way through? So they're going to mark it off, and the ball is going to be taken back to about the 20 yard line. And they have Scotty to get Dillard's to, going up there to congratulate the front line there. Well, he did a good. They did a good they job. They did a great job. They've got to get to the 35 for the first down. Second down and 14. Fake it, fake it, Smith again, but crash across the middle and it's complete, and it's going to be enough for the first down. And he's going to be down. They're going to get the first down, but the receiver, as he was taken down. Is not getting up quick. As he's going off, he's limping, favoring that left uh, left ankle. That's their uh, that's Quante Hicks being helped off the uh, off the field, and it is not Quante Hicks. That is Dante Hurt. Hurt. So it brings up first down and ten for. Clarksville High School. The ball is now spotted at their own 44-yard line. Handoff 
this time to Smith as he's going to try the right side. He's going to get across the 45 to get about the 47. So a short pickup on the play. Second and seven. 28 to seven. Dyer County trading in the homecoming game here. 2018 homecoming. Nine carries, 53 yards for Sam Smith. Two wide receivers to the left, one to the right, two running. Uh, man in motion going from the left to the right, handoff, jet sweep. He gets around the corner. He's going to get across the 50, and he's going to be taken down as he gets into Dyer County territory, and they're going to mark it about the 49-yard line. It's going to be short of the first down by about three yards, but they're stopping the clock. There has to be a flag on the far side of the field as they stopped the clock after the tackle was made. Knew it wasn't enough for the first down. Let's see what the referee says. Personal, Personal foul. foul on the and, offense. You know, against the offense against Clarksville. Well, and didn't he signal dead ball? Yes. So that's after the, after, after the play. After the play, so they're going to be down. We'll, take, we'll stand. So it should be Third down, and the ball is moved back. It's played at the 37-yard line of Clarksville. They have to get to the Dyer County 46. So now Dyer County would like to hold them right here. Ford Cooper, the quarterback, made a motion from the left to the right. Affected him. He's going deep. He's got a man that's got broke open, and he overthrows him. As oh, he was the, out there. He receiver. Blue by our defender. And that was Dante Hurt, the one who uh, caught the 20-yard uh, uh, catch, uh, the, uh, the last 20-yard, uh, or the last catch, I should say, and limped off the field, but apparently not hurt at all. Nah, he just need to rest, I guess. Yeah, well, or cramp or something. Yeah. So Clarksville once again, in a, uh, well, in a four-down situation, punting situation this time. This time they're going to line up the punt. Last time on the fourth down, they went for it and didn't make it. It was a lot shorter than this. Yeah. Good high long kick. Comes down the 25-yard line, taking at the, there to his 30, 35. He's trying to get to the right sideline, gets up, and he's going to be taken down about the 45-yard line. And that was Caden Stafford, an excellent young ball player for Dyer County. He did a good job of returning the ball. He's going to stay out there on the uh, field as receiver. Yeah, about 20-yard return that time. Dyer County has the ball in an excellent field position here, and they're going to spot it at the 45-yard line. First down and 10 for Dyer County. 6.44 remaining in the first half. Dyer County trading 28-7. to Dane Patterson, the quarterback, back to pass, looking on the left side, gets it out to Stafford and about the 50-yard line. They're going to keep the clock moving, saying he was stopped in bounds. So a five-yard pickup that time for Dyer County. Second down and five. And Dyer County is going to we're going to have a timeout. So with 6.29 remaining in the first half, Dyer County trailing 28 to 7. We've got a, oh, it's a timeout for an injury. It's, and that's, uh, I believe, uh, is that number eight coming off? I believe it is. That Mike is going to be Michael Kennedy. Kennedy. He's limping. Okay. I thought we was going. I thought we was going to have a timeout there, but it's a stoppage for the injured player, and he's limping off the far side. So as soon as he gets to the sideline, we're going to start it back. Dyer County has two wide receivers to the right side, two to the left. Pass over to the left side is complete. It's at the 50-yard line and we got a foot race going down the left sideline. It's going to be down to the 30, the 20, the 10, and that Jeffrey Taylor taking it all the way in for the touchdown from 50 yards out. Jeffrey Taylor, 50-yard touchdown completion. Dyer County touchdown, 6-16 remaining in the first half. Dyer County cuts it down to 28-13 to and we were as we got the ball on the left side a little pass that, that will improve your stats on the passing yardage. <laughs> it certainly will. He's two of five for 55 yards and a touchdown. That was maybe a yard pass and went for 50 for a touchdown. 
Logan Cartwright to kick the extra point for Dyer County. It's up. It looks good from here. It is good. Dyer County now trails by a score of 28 to 14. So let's take a, that was a Lowry's body shop touchdown. And so Dyer County cuts it to a two touchdown deficit now. So let's take a 30 second break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. On one one. Officer, I'd like to file a report. I witnessed a robbery. A uh, robbery? Yes, at Sonic. I saw a man steal a quarter pound double cheeseburger and tots for only two ninety nine. He was about six one, brown hair, blue shirt, big smile. Wait, so he did actually pay just two ninety nine? I better check this out. Boys, I'm going on lunch. It's a steal, all right. The Car Hop Classic, a quarter pound double cheeseburger or Slinger Plus tots for only two ninety nine. This is at Sonic. Text not included. See menu for details for a limited time. Only participating Sonic drive ins. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, Dyer County scored two unanswered touchdowns after giving up four of them in the first quarter. And it looks like a slugfest right now. And Logan Stafford gets a good leg in. Uh, Carbright gets a good leg into it. Goes back in, inside the five-yard line. It's taken back at that point, but he's going to get to the right sideline. Racing down, going to be taken out of bounds. Run out of bounds on the far side. Let's see where they're going to mark it. I, I can't tell where they're going to mark it on the far side. It could be about the 36 is where they're. So about the 36 yard line, first down and 10 for Clarksville. That's good long kickoff, but didn't have as good a coverage as the kick was. We out kicked their coverage that time. But it's going to be first down and 10 at the Clarksville 36 yard line. So they come up once again. Ford Cooper, the quarterback, two wide receivers to each side. Man motion from left to right. Fake it to Smith. Cooper, uh, Cooper's going to keep it himself. He's going to get across the 40 to about the 43-yard line. Tell you what, he rides that fake in there with Smith, and then he pulls it back out. So, Dyer County has slowed him down just a little bit, 110 yards in the first quarter, and that's his first carry of the second half for positive yardage, or second mm -hmm. quarter, I should say. So they hand off this time to Smith, and Smith is piled up at the line of scrimmage. And uh, Kenny did a good job that time of so stopping Smith. I'll tell you what, at the, at the end of the first quarter, they came over the sideline, and Coach Quiddle and his staff talked to him. He must have he said must something. got the message across, said, fellas, we got to play this starting right now, and they have, they've come out strong in the second quarter. Fumble. A fumble, fumble on the ground, and it's loose. And Tyler County's got a chance. He wasn't, apparently wasn't a good one. So <laughs> it was a chance. It was a chance. But it's going to be fourth down. Uh, we we had two guys going for it, and apparently they they got it back. But it's going to be fourth down. Fourth down and about six yards to go for the first down for Fox on there going back to punt once again. They're congratulating Halliburton over there. I don't know if it was because he uh, had an opportunity to do it or he caused the fumble, but. They were pretty happy with him earlier. So back to punt. Put a little pressure on. This time it's a low, hard kick. It's going to roll down inside the 35-yard line. And the market looks like about the 32 first, uh, where Dyer County will go on okay. offense. First down and 10 at that point. We have 431 remaining in the first half. So if Dyer County has moved the ball here in the second quarter, we can if we can go... Take this down and score. That's right. We'll be right back in this ball That's game. That's right. So we've looked good. Let's not count our chickens before they. No, 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 no. I wouldn't count anything. I'm just. I understand. <laughs> being optimistic a little yes, bit. Yes, sir. So Dane Patterson, the quarterback here, and we're trying to get the right combination on the field. We got, we got too got many on the field we, now, so somebody better come off. So we try to get the right person out, and we're going to take a timeout. It looks like. Yeah, we need. And to. We got we got seven seconds. Yeah, so. Let's take a Sonic timeout, and let's get everybody, make sure we get the right package out there on the field. So the Sonic timeout on the field, let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw Football on Jack FM. Okina Termite and Pest Control has been in business since 1962. Okina is locally owned and operated. It is now serving southeast Missouri and northwest Tennessee. Call your good friends at Okina and take advantage of their 2999 general pest control service for new customers only. Okina also offers attic insulation, air duct cleaning, and floor support. Check out their website at okina.com. Be sure to click quick quote to start your free quote with 
hassle or give Okina a call at 731-285-4982. You're listening to Dyer County Chalk House Sports on 100 Jack FM WASL Dyersburg. Well, 4.31 to go here in the first half. Dyer County trails at 28-14, to 14, but they've cut the lead in half. They've scored two unanswered touchdowns, and they've got an opportunity right here to possibly add to it, but they've got a long way to go starting at their own 32, 33. Well, we've got trips to the right side. Dane Patterson has it. He's going to pass out to Jeffrey Taylor. He catches it, and he's going to get across the 35. So a short pickup that time. So we tried it to the right side the last time we did it to the left, and he went 50 yards for a touchdown. As we had trips lined out to the right side, Jeffrey Taylor right in the midst of the middle man of those three. This time he's lined up to the left side. Well, if you're defensively, you need to know where Jeffrey Taylor is on the field at all times. Oh, yeah. you got to know. They've seen, and they've seen enough film of him. They know. Hand off to Scotty. Oh, the fake to Scotty Dillon. Dane Patterson keeps it himself. He gets across the 40-yard line to the 41. So it's going to be short of the first down by about two yards. Third down and two as Dyer County needs to get to the their own 43-yard line. Ball spotted at their own 41. Dyer County thus far has four Henson Insurance Company first downs here in the first half. Caden Stafford and Logan Palmer lined up here on the right side. Ball on the right hash mark. Two running backs in the backfield. Hand off to Jeffrey Taylor. He's... Trying to find something and nothing there as he tries to bounce it outside, bounce it outside, and could not find a spot as the defender did a really good job coming up and making the tackle there. And it's still going to be, a, uh, they're going to give him to about the 42, and we've got to get 43. Looks like Dyer County's going to go for it right here. Well, it's, it's fourth down and short. Let's see if they jump. I uh, would make sure we get up there for plenty of time to. Give them a long Jeffrey count. Jeffrey Taylor's coming off and Joe Falcon's coming on. And Joe's got a lot of offensive snaps tonight. Let's see if we can get some to jump all sides like we did last week. Now we're going to hand it off. We're going to give it out to Scotty Dillard, and he's going to be tackled <clears throat> and thrown for a loss as he's hit at the 40-yard line and taken down there. So it's going to be ball go over on downs. As our county needed the yard for the first down, and we came up with the two-yard loss on the play instead. So it's going to be first down and 10, four clocks at the Dyer County 40-yard line. Ball is going to be spotted at the right hash mark. And clocks are going from our right to our left. Forward group of the quarterback, gone all the way. Man in motion. Give it to Smith. Oh, that affects the Smith and pitch back over to number five, Hicks. And he's going to run to the right and he's going to get a small pickup on the play. And an excellent open field tackle by Mason Heathcott the senior linebacker over on the right side of the play. Once again a good ride to, into Smith in the middle and Cooper pulls it back, pitches over to the right and they pick up a few yards on the play, not many. Once again it's going to be a fake to the man in motion and going to be thrown down. Is that Cooper kept it himself? That was Cooper that kept it, but Dyer County was not fooled at all. They barely got back to the line of scrimmage. And we got we got a timeout. So we've got a sonic timeout on the field, so let's take a 30-second timeout reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw Football on Jack FM. This is Holly, the pharmacist at Neighborhood Pharmacy. We are proud to have served Dyersburg and surrounding areas for over a year now, and we are very thankful for your committed service. We are locally owned and strive to provide services you will not find at a chain pharmacy. If you haven't had a chance to visit us, you are missing out on friendly service, fast wait times, and a convenient drive through The Neighborhood Pharmacy, where we are more than your pharmacy, we are your neighbor. Stop by and see us at 1954 St. John Avenue or give us a call at 259-0404. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, Dyer County trails at 28-14. They're going to go on defense. And uh, coming in back after the sonic timeout that uh, the Wildcats were forced to take right there. Third down and nine for Clarksville. Forward back to pass. Going to throw it over to the right side. It's going to be no incomplete. One. 
Well, he had a man, but he just sort of lobbed it over him. Yeah, and I think Dyer County defended that very well. Uh, over on that side was number 11. That's Adam Williams, the senior linebacker for Dyer County. He uh, did an excellent job of just kind of, he, he didn't interfere, but he just kind of impeded the progress of the uh, wide receiver on the right side, and Dante Hurt. And I don't think he hit anybody open over there, but he went ahead and got rid of it. Mm -hmm. Fourth down and nine. Trips to the right side, left side. Back to pass. He's getting pressure. He throws it. He's got a man wide open at the 20-yard line. And how did he get that wide open? But he was down there at the 20-yard line. Somebody missed an assignment. Yep, he was and, wide open. And a touchdown for the Fossil High School Wildcats. And I didn't even see who caught it. I was... Dante Hurt. Hurt. Mm, mm, mm. We had everything covered except for him. And he was all alone. Had pressure on the quarterback, and he found Hurt at the 20-yard line all alone. Nobody close to him. Wasn't a very well-thrown pass, but it was good enough to get there. And now the extra point attempt by Pena is up, and it's good. So with the score 35-14 to 14 now, Dyer County will have a, a minute and a half to come down and score here in the first half. So let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. Oh, hi. You up for a refreshing break from your day with bubbly sparkling water? Eight flavors, no calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. Popping like the top of a bottle and I ain't stopping yet. It's a brand new day. Ain't no crowd singing over me. Something doesn't feel the same. The rest of my life gonna start. Bubbly sparkling water. Crack a smile. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, after scoring four touchdowns in the first quarter, it took them uh, all the way to a minute 39 left to go in the second quarter to score their first touchdown of the quarter, yet it was on uh, blown coverage on Dyer County, and that uh, that uh, is tough. That's uh, that's a tough one right there. In Tyler, opinion, he's kicked off into the end zone. He has boosted a couple times. Let's see what he's going to do on the kickoff this time. This time he comes down, kicks it down, and it's going to go into the end zone and out of the end zone. So touchback, and about Dyer County will take over on their own 20-yard line, first down and 10. We will have 139. Try to score something here before halftime. So we need to get something going here again. 35 to 14, Dyer County's trailing. Well, at least put together a good drive because we need some momentum going into halftime yeah. to uh, uh, to really do that. I mean, we had done such an excellent job in the second quarter, uh, uh, scored two unanswered touchdowns, and then uh, and then to give up uh, that touchdown there on a fourth and long. I mean, it was fourth mm -hmm. and nine. Yeah. Um, just um, just a just a tough one to 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 give up right there. Take the ball, and Patterson keeps it himself, fakes it to the first man through, and he's going to get across the 20 and go and get thrown back as he got about the 23-yard line. And he's spun around and thrown down. Pick about a three-yard pickup for Dyer County. First, uh, second down and seven. And we still have, what, two timeouts left? It's first half. Uh, we have one. One? We, we used one earlier and then used a uh, timeout early. And then when we couldn't, didn't have the right oh, amount okay. of players on. Patterson back to pass. Got time. No, he lost his time as he took too long. And somebody came streaking in there. And Patterson's going to be thrown for a loss back at the, what, 13-yard line. Let's go. Uh, they're going to. Well, I tell you what, he had time, he had time, and all of a sudden he ran out of time. And they're going to spot the ball back up to 15. They're going to see as far as progress is there. So it's still going to be 38 seconds remaining. So we've got a time. If we want to get some plays off, I'm, I'm not sure we want to right now. Mm -mm. Third uh, down 15, so I think we're going to run, run the clock down. We've got 11 seconds left in the play clock. Nothing dangerous. Yeah. Hand it off or kneel on it. Got two running backs in the backfield. Going to hand it off right up the middle. We're going to get close to the, we'll get across the 15 to the 16-yard line. 
And we'll get a player down. And that's going to be a Clarksville player. Oh, goodness. And that's going to stop the, uh, stop the clock with two-tenths of a second left. So I think when they get him off and start the clock back, that thus will end the second quarter. Yep. And yep, they're saying run the clock. Yep. And they're going to run it out. And that's going to be the half. So that's the end of the first half. The injured player is going to be there, and he's not going to stop the clock to keep the halftime going. So it's going to be first. Uh, it's going to be the end of the first half. Our county trailing in the ball game by a score of 35 to 14. So let's take a three-minute break, reminding you this is our county Choctaw football on Jack FM. From Newburn Gas System. Newburn Gas System says safety first. Always call 811 before you dig. For any gas emergency or odor complaints, call 627 3221 or after hours, 627 2571. Newburn Gas System is not responsible. And he forced him to uh, retain possession each time, so we'll see what type of kickoff he's going to start the second half with. As the teams are going to the sideline now. And getting ready well, to come and, back out. Yeah, and while we're getting ready to do that, I want to uh, send a shout out to our uh, our friends, the uh, Gridiron Girls, Ooh. and uh, Michelle um, or uh, uh, King. Yep. Michelle King. She is really does a good job with those young ladies every year. These kids uh, finished second. In Face for Dyer County as people come into Dyer County from business schools, and uh, it's a good way to say we're good host. Welcome to Dyer County. And certainly we are. Homecoming tonight. For those of you who are sitting at home on the couch watching this, shame on you, especially <laughs> if you were players here. Especially, I know one who is watching who was a quarterback. We won't mention any names. In 2002, he was number 16. But uh, we, won't, we won't mention any names because we don't want to embarrass anybody. Yeah. But he is uh, sitting on his back porch right now. He lives over there by you, Angie Stafford, <laughs> just, just so you know. <laughs> Making people feel guilty. Well, that's here. right. He should feel guilty. He should be here with us. So Dyer County in position to receive the second half kickoff, and here it comes. A good kickoff this time. It's going to hit in the end zone and bounce on through the Chantal head, <laughs> headdress and on out the back of the headdress, I believe. As, but we got a flag on the fl play. Oh, no. We got a procedure it's on their penalty. end, so yeah. Go to procedure penalty. So now they, it's either re kick or we accept it where it is. Is that correct? And we're going to make them re kick it. Yeah. Because the procedure is going to be what, 10 yards back or five? Five. Five yards? Okay. And the ball did go through the headdress <laughs> that's in the, behind the end zone. Did they have trouble finding it? <laughs> that, getting no, it back out of there? But they had to get it back from, the, from back there and bring it back out. But a good kickoff that time by Pena as he's got an excellent leg. Well, he's going to boot from the 35. We're going to see just how good that leg is right now. Scotty Dillard is short. Jeffrey Taylor is back. Uh, who is that on the near side? That is uh, the starting quarterback, Josh Stewart, on the near side. Well, we're going to try the second half kickoff once again. And this time he's going to pooch it. It's going to bounce around. It's going to be taken at the 10-yard line by Jeffrey Taylor. He's up to the 20, the 25, the 30. He's going to bounce outside, and he's going to take it out of bounds about the 34-yard line. So good field position. Dyer County would like nothing better than to uh, drive it right down the throat of the Wildcat defense right here. So first down and 10. The first play of the second half. Dyer County is going to take over possession at their own 34-yard line on the right hash mark. They'll be moving from our left to our right. Dyer County lines up with two wide receivers each side. One running back. Patterson, starting quarterback, passes out to the 38-yard line. It's complete across the 40, the 45, up to the 50-yard line, taken down at that point. And that was, was that Jeffrey Taylor coming Jeffrey down the backfield? Taylor. That was him. That was a 16-yard completion. So that's a Henson insurance first down for Dyer County to start the second half, and ball is moved up to the 50-yard line. First down and 10 at that point. Aaron Whittle and Caden Stafford lined up on the right side. Back to pass Patterson, throws it out the left side. It's complete at the 45-yard line, and he's taken back from that point. 
Right You're going to give his forward progress yeah. at just short of the 45. Yeah. About, a, about a four yard pick up there. Who's that caught that? I couldn't tell. Was that number one? Bryce Camps? Well, if it was, that was his first catch of the night. He, was, he spread out wide to the right. Jeffrey Tavers in the slot over there to the, on the left side. Patterson back to pass, looking downfield, pass in the middle, about the 40-yard line is complete. Gets up to the 36-yard line and taken down at that point. Sawyer did a good job of yeah. pulling that one in and scampering for the first down. Garrett Sawyer, and he's played a good offensive and defensive game so far. So another hits an insurance first down for Dyer County. As they're moving here with 10.35 remaining in the third quarter, Scotty Dillard in the backfield with Dane Patterson. He's back to pass once again across the middle. We got it up to the 33-yard line. Gets down to the, about the 30, 29-yard line, make it. Nice pass that time by Patterson. He's, he's getting the snap and hitting some quick openers there, picking up short yardage each time, being very effective. And who caught that one? On the left side over there. Bryce that, Caps again. So we got we got Caps spread out wide and Jeffrey Taylor in the slot on the left side. Okay. Scotty Diller in the backfield along with Patterson and quarter, Patterson and quarterback. Gets the ball. He's back to pass. Looking, fakes it short. It's going long. Got it across the middle. He oh. went up high to catch it and he came down with it. Yes, yeah, Sawyer made the catch at the Six-yard line. And he Great had to go catch. high. He had to climb the ladder to get that one, and that's a 28, 29, 30, 31-yard catch, and that's going to make it first and goal. And Henson first down at the nine-yard line, first down and goal from the nine, and or at the six-yard line. Dane Patterson rolling to the left side. He's going to pass it to the goal line, and it's complete. And Jeffrey I can't, Taylor. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Taylor, Taylor. Touchdown. Six-yard touchdown pass to Jeffrey Taylor. And with 9.26 remaining in the third quarter, Dyer County has cut the lead to 35-20. to 20. And this is what I talked about. We need to get the open, opening kickoff here in the second half, take it down the field and score, and that's what we've done. Logan Cartwright into attempt the extra point. Caden Stafford to hold. Good snap. Kick it up. Looks good. It is good. So with 9.26 remaining in the third quarter, Dyer County is trailing now by a score of 35 to 21. Uh, so let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County Chantal Football on Jack FM. On one one. Officer, I'd like to file a report. I witnessed a robbery. A uh, robbery? Yes, at Sonic. I saw a man steal a quarter pound double cheeseburger and tots for only two ninety nine. He was about six one, brown hair, blue shirt, big smile. Wait, so he did actually pay just two ninety nine? I better check this out. Boys, I'm on a watch. It's steal, all right. Star Hop Classic, a quarter pound double cheeseburger or plus tots for only two ninety nine. This is Sonic. Text time included. Send you for details for limited time only. Participating Sonic drive-ins. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, Dyer County has come a touchdown closer with 9.26 to go in the third quarter. And they looked really sharp and moved them all downfield that time. So now let's get out here and let's play some defense. Logan Cartwright to kick off. Kicks it high, and it's going to be taken down about the 15-yard line, up to the 20. Trying to get outside it on the right side, and he's forcing it outside. And he's going to be hit at the 25, and that's where he's going to be taken down. Well, his gang tackle to take him down. Scotty Dillard slowed him down, and uh, in there uh, helping out on the tackle was Austin Lemons. Well, we, did a, County. we did a good job that time of coming up and forcing him to the outside and then not let not letting him turn up field from there. Well, let's see what uh, let's see what the Wildcats do with their first possession here of the second quarter at the 25-yard line. Ford Cooper has led the Clarksville attack all all night. In the backfield, along with him is Sam Smith. He's going to fake it to Smith. He's going to keep it himself, and he's going to do like he did to start the first half. He's going to keep it up the middle, and he's up at the 50-yard line. It's a foot race down the right sideline, and can we Hold stop on. him or get him out of bounds? 
and we finally bring him down about the 15 yard line. I tell you what, that's where they started their first season, first quarter, as they moved the ball all the way down to about the 15 yard line. Well, it's a 60 yard scamper. Well, I tell you what, he's tough as he fakes it and keeps it himself. And he takes kind off. of weaves up through the middle like yeah. a. Not sure. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Go hand off this time to Smith. Smith's going to find some opening off the right tackle and gets down to about the 10 yard line, a little short of the 10. But it's close enough to say the 10 yard line, so it's about five yard pickup on the play. That's only the sixth first down that uh, they have made, believe it or not. So. Of course, they've done a lot of long runs. Yeah, too. yeah. So they come up. We've got two wide receivers to the left side, one to the right, two running backs in the backfield. And he's going to hand off up the middle to Smith, and he's going to pick up maybe a yard on the play. He's got 61 yards on 13 carries here tonight. Does uh, Sam Smith. Third and four is the get to the nine. They can get a first down without scoring. Motion man from the left to the right to the left. He's going to keep it and he's going to try it outside the right side and he's going to get enough for the first down. But He's short. a tough man to bring down. Yes, he is. 178 yards on 10 carries. But when you have a 60 yard at a yeah. clip, you pick up a lot of yards out of way. That's right. So it's going to be enough for the first down. It looks like it's going to be first down and five. First down and goal from the five. So we need to stop them here. Yeah, we do. A good turnover is what we need. Mm -hmm. Trips to the left side. Going to hand off right up the middle to Smith, and he's going to go in. Touchdown Wildcats, five yards out, Sam Smith. And it makes it now 42 to 21. So... Tyler Pena coming in to attempt the extra point, and he's got a really strong leg. <laughs> yeah. It may be automatic right here. And the kick is up, and his kick is good. So with 7-18 remaining in the third quarter, Dyer County now trails by a score of 42-21. to So let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Chata football on Jack FM. Okina Termite and Pest Control has been in business since 1962. Okina is locally owned and operated. It is now serving South Missouri and Northwest Tennessee. Call your good friends at Okina and take advantage of their 2999 General Pest Control Service for new customers only. Okina also offers attic insulation, air duct cleaning, and floor support. Check out their website at okina.com. Be sure to click quick quote to start your free quote with no hassle. Or give Okina a call at 731-285-4982. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Dyer County needs to score hard and score often. As a matter of fact, to uh, stay in it, they 42-21 uh, now the score with 7-18 to go here in the third quarter. And Dyer County receiving the kickoff once again. And as, as we've said, we never know from time to time how he's going to kick off. Mm -mm. Uh, as I think they've, they've been experimenting with with him here tonight. I think they've been trying to hit in the gap between the Dyer County return people. Let's see what Penny does on this kickoff. As he approaches, and it's going to be a high end over end kick that's going to land about eight yards deep in the end zone and go through the end zone. So we know what type of kickoff he's going to have that one. <laughs> Well, uh, one thing we want to mention, Clarksville has uh, brought a lot more people than they had earlier. Yeah. I know some of our people are sitting over on the visitor's side, but uh, uh, still not the uh, not the visiting crew that uh, that we took to Northeast the we, other night. We had quite a nice well, crowd up there. Certainly did. First down and 10, Dyer County ball at their own 20-yard line. Two wide receivers each side. Patterson back to pass, looking over the left side. It's going to be complete at the 25-yard line up left sideline. 
up to the 30, 35, and across the 35, knocked out of bounds about the 37-yard line. So enough for an instant insurance first down for Dyer County. It's our eighth. Dane Patterson has come out throwing the, the second half and throwing quite well. And the receiver is catching the ball and picking up some good yardage. 152, he is uh, 10 of 16 for 152 yards. Back, back to pass once again, throws across the middle to Garrett Sawyer, and Garrett Sawyer is thrown down. And it wasn't a nice way at all. But he gets up to the 44-yard line. He held on the football, but he was tackled immediately. And so it's going to be second down and four yards to go for Dyer County at their, at their own 44-yard line. We're moving trips over here to the left side. Single running back, Jeffrey Taylor, man in motion from the from the right to the left. Going to throw it across the middle. It's complete once again. Sawyer's catching it in traffic. Well, I'll tell you what. And that's a 12-yard completion right there. Well, everybody's going to Jeffrey Taylor. Yep. That, well, that's and we're we, doing the right thing. We, but we, man, we, he's got. He's we, got sticky on his hands. We lined up Jeffrey Taylor on the right side that time, put him in motion to the left, and then people leaning that way, and then Garrett Sawyer is open on the right side. Back to pass once again. Throw it over that time. It's way overthrown. And then I think that's the first bad pass he's thrown since he's come into the ball game. Well, he's only uh, incomplete. That is his fourth incompletion since coming into the game. Uh, but I think that's the first bad pass. I mean, he's had incompletions yeah. that, that were just, that was just way over the head. So it's second down and 10. The ball is spotted at the Clarksville 44-yard line back. Rolling to the left side, passing it. It's going to be thrown outside. It's going to be caught by Jeffrey Taylor, and he gets inside the 40-yard line, and he gets across to about the 39-yard line, and he's going to go out of bounds at that point. 175 yards, 13 to 17. I think they're going to move the spot the ball up to about the what 38 yard line. Oh, that's a six yard pickup. Yeah. So about the 38 yard line. Dane Patterson back to pass, looking over to the right side. Oh, it's going to be overthrown that time too. He, he threw it on the back shoulder of Scotty Dillard, yeah. and he he could have been eight feet tall and wouldn't have caught yeah, that one. Yeah. Trying to get it, he's trying to get away quick. Uh, you know, yeah. that, that's the secret so far. You know, uh, last week he got sacked. This week uh, we got sacked early. But he's getting rid of the ball quick. He's been sacked uh, twice. Today. So, you know, he's not giving them time to, to get a rush in there. Actually, I take that back. Well, if you'd call it when he kneeled down, because the first one he kneeled down, loss of five. Yeah, yeah that wasn't a sack. That, it was just, he okay. Just, he just gave just, up. Yeah. So then one sack. Man in motion. Back to pass it, Patterson throws it across the middle in traffic, and he gets it to Sawyer's Sawyer again. again. And down to completion wow. about the 34-yard 30, line, 33-yard line. That's going to be close. To, that's be very close. For, that is, that, well, that's not close. That's enough for the first down. It's an insurance first down once again. Number nine. As they had to get to about the 35, and then it was across, and the ball was spotted close to the 33. Two wide receivers each side. The ball spotted at the, in the middle of the field. Dane Patterson back to pass. Looking to the left side. And looking, looking, throwing long. He's got a man. Interference. And yes, got sir. Interference. The ball was, wasn't even close to the receiver. And already <laughs> we got two flags thrown. Yeah, that was, that was interference on, uh, that's number two, Price Warfield. He is a defensive back, a junior. Uh, he was just all up in the face of Bryce Caps and, well, he wasn't going to be scored on. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he wasn't. But but that's the play you do there yeah. because oh, yeah. Caps was it was it had touchdown written all over it. Well, I've heard coaches say it. I've said it myself. Uh, don't give up a touchdown on that. I'd, I'd rather have a flag. It's a we're going to march it off. They're not going to get the ball down there at the goal line. You know, it's, it's only the second penalty for the Wildcats right there, and unfortunately, you don't get it where the ball where it's spotted. But that's going to be via the. That's going to be a, another Henson Insurance first down. That's the tenth of the game for Dyer County. And that's going to move the ball inside the 20-yard line, about the, what, 17-yard line. Patterson back to pass once again. Quick pass over to the right side, and that's going to be thrown at the feet of Caden Stafford. It's only his fifth incompletion tonight. So it's going to be second down and 10 for Dyer County. 
as Dyer County lines up once again. Two wide receivers to the right and left. Patterson back to pass, looking, 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 going to run. He's got a little opening. He's across the 15. He's up at the 10 and inside the 10-yard line. It's going to be close to the first down. I can't tell. Looks like he's going to be about a yard short, I believe. Ball's going to be about the nine-yard line. So, like you said, about a yard short of the first down. As Dane Patterson looking and looking and looking, didn't have anything downfield, so he decided to tuck it and run and almost got enough of the first down. Third down and one for Dyer County. But it's third and manageable right here down yeah. inside the red zone. They can get a, a first down. I mean, obviously we'd like to have a touchdown, but they can get a first down by getting to the, what, the seven-yard line. Uh, Four twelve remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County hands off this time. It's going to be enough for the first down. If it's all we had to do was get a yard, because that's about what he got. It was Scotty Dillard coming through there, and he was hit hard when he got uh, into the line of scrimmage. But he was—he had a full head of steam when he got that, because he's. But it's enough for the first down, I believe. Are they going to measure? No, they're going to give it to him. All right, first down, Dyer County. Another hits an insurance first down as the ball is spotted about the eight-yard line. First down and gold from the eight. Patterson rolling to the right, throws it over to the right, oh. and it's going to be incomplete. That is the first dropped ball by Garrett Sawyer since he came in receiving. He's caught one, two, three, four, five in a row for 62 yards, and that one thrown just a little behind him, but... He just could not find the handle. Well, Patterson rolling to the right, and Garrett Sawyer running to the right. Yeah. Well, and that's a hard completion yeah. to make, but, yeah. man, he's made some he's, hard He's looking tonight. back over his shoulder a little bit. Patterson hands off. We're going to do a sweep right. We get up. Oh, he's going to bounce it outside and just go all the way to the pylon. Touchdown, Dyer County. Jeffrey Taylor bounced it out to the pile line, and he knew he had that touchdown, yeah, buddy. He when did. He said, I've, he got, down. I've got one man to beat, and he ain't catching me. That's right. As he he hit, has that pile line in his sights, and he got it. Uh, what about a seven-yard touchdown run for Jeffrey Taylor with 327 remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County cuts it to from 40, uh, 42 to 27 with Logan Cartwright to attempt the extra point. Kane Stafford with the hold. This good snap. The ball goes up. Hits across. Hits, oh. hits the goal post and falls down incomplete. Darn. Oh, uh, in and uh, out. No in, good. Oh, no good. No good. Oh, so with 3.27 remaining in the third quarter, Dyer County trails in the ball game by a score of 42-27. to 27. So let's take a 30-second break. Remaining you, this is Dyer County Chantal football on Jack FM. This is Holly, pharmacist at Neighborhood Pharmacy. We are proud to have served Dyersburg and surrounding areas for over a year now, and we are very thankful for your committed service. We are locally owned and strive to provide services you will not find at a chain pharmacy. If you haven't had a chance to visit us, you are missing out on friendly service, fast wait times, and a convenient drive through The Neighborhood Pharmacy, where we are more than your pharmacy, we are your neighbor. Stop by and see us at 1954 St. John Avenue or give us a call at 259-0404. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, 42-27. And Logan Cartwright's going to attempt an onside kick, and it goes across the 50-yard line. It's going to be covered about the 48-yard line by Carswell High School. Tried so. something a little fancy right there. It didn't, uh, didn't quite work, but uh, this is really uh, going to make the uh, defense really need to play well right here. Well, we're capable of doing it. Oh, yeah. We but certainly we are. We did it all uh, first half last uh, last game. If we weren't so hospitable host and give them the 28-point lead early in the ball game, we, but we have fought back and fought back and fought back tonight. And it's not because Clarks have been, you know, put their fourth or fifth team in there. They've still got their starters out there, too. We've got a pretty good ball team when we play well. Yes, we do. First down and 10 for Clarksville Wildcats at their own 48-yard line. First down and 10. Hand off to Smith. He's going to bounce it outside and gets into Dyer County territory and knocked out of bounds about the 44-yard line of Dyer County. So a nice pickup that time by Samuel Smith. 
That same yard pick up that time by Smith. Thing was spotted at the 45, so he was out of bounds over there. Back up the line of scrimmage as Ford hands off right up the middle to Smith. He gets up to the 40 yard line, enough for the first down for Clarkson. Quick handoff, quick pop up the middle. And now I'm, I hesitate now before I say whether he's handed off before yeah, I what, know. what Cooper's done with it. It's going to be close to the first down. Where are they marking it? And they're, is there, oh, a flag. I see the flag out there. Okay, so we need to hold the phone here. And they're asking what we want to do with it, so it's apparently on them. Well, if it's on them, we'll march we'll take, it off. March it off and let's repeat second down. Was it a procedure penalty? That's going to be Ooh, what? Oh. clipping on us. Illegal block below the knees. And that's a 15-yard major. We don't see that much when no, you we get don't. A, a blocking infraction against the defense. It's not unheard of. Well, of course it's unheard of. Well, no. <laughs> no, I mean. All right, first down and 10. As they ball, move the ball down to the Dyer County 25-yard line. Cooper back to pass. He throws it out to the right side. It's incomplete. I've seen it called before, but it's hmm. it's, it's not something Normally that's offensive a lot. does that. Mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, it's usually a. But if you come up and, and cut the legs out of a. a Interference of the, the blockers. And oh, he fumble. has a fumble on the, Dyer the County has it. Uh, It's on the ground, and Dyer County goes after it. The officials agree with us. Dyer County forces a turnover, and it's going to be first down at 10 for Dyer County. Woo! We bit the bullet that time. We come alive that time, yes, didn't right. we, Bubba? Tell you what, Smith <laughs> could not take that lick and keep on ticking. He lost the football, and Dyer County is going to take over first down at 10. And the ball is spotted about our own 28-yard line. 2:21 remaining. Get a drive here. 2:21 remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County trails 42 to 27. We've been behind. We were down 28 to nothing in the first quarter. And timeout is called by the Wildcats. So that's a Sonic timeout. So with the Sonic timeout, let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. Oh, hi. You up for a refreshing break from your day with bubbly sparkling water? Eight flavors, no calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. Popping like the top off a bottle and I ain't stopping yet. It's a brand new day. Ain't no clouds hanging over me. Something doesn't feel the same. The rest of my life gonna start. Bubbly sparkling water. Crack a smile. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. 42-27, this is the first opportunity that Dyer County has had on a turnover here tonight. They have fumbled it away twice in the first half, but let's see what they can do with their newfound offense right here. All right, Dyer County coming up, first down and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Madison back to pass, passes over the right side to Jeffrey Taylor. He gets the ball at the 30, the 35, the 40, and across midfield. In the, he's got a foot race going. He's at the 40. He's at the 35. He's at the 30. And he's going to be chased down and taken down at the 35-yard line, uh, the 25-yard line. And inside the 25, about the 23, great run for Jeffrey Taylor, a, bad, a pass completion, and... It's another Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County as the crowd has gotten more excited here. I think we might have lost some of the crowd mm -hmm. because of the rain and because it got behind early. But the Dyer County Chantals have no quit in them. Patterson back to pass, looking over to the right side. He's going to throw it downfield into the end zone. Ooh, and we got an interference Flying in the end out. zone. And Caden Stafford was out there. He was alone, and that was all he could do to stop the touchdown was – to interfere, and that's exactly what he did. That's the same player they called the interference on on the other side of the field, Price Warfield. Well, once again, it's one of those things where the coaches always tell the players, 
you know, I'd rather have an interference than a touchdown. Mm-hmm. And so that's twice he's interfered with the Dyer County receiver to keep uh, to prevent the touchdown. So the Dyer County Choctaws will be benefiting from the step off. 149 remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County has the ball first down and 10. And they're going to spot the ball about the what, 11 yard line. It's going to be another Henson Insurance first down. That's 12 of them. Five, six, seven, eight of them this, this uh, quarter. So we have really come out in the second half and moved the football against this Clark's Wildcat team. So there got them on their heels. Payne Patterson moving to the right, throws it out to Garrett Sawyer, and he's going to make the catch and pick up a very few yards as he's going to get inside the 10. And let's say the nine yard line for the benefit of it. Because it's How many yards team. would you think, uh, 16 of uh, 21, how many yards would you think Dane Patterson would have with what you've seen so far? What do you feel? Just oh, guess. Gosh, I don't know. <laughs> 238 yards, Ooh, 16 nice. of 21. And it's still the third quarter. Yep. Two touchdowns. 124 remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County has a second down in what, about seven yards to go. Must have gave him three on that one. Yeah. So we're on the right hash mark. Dane Patterson has ball. He's looking, looking, looking. He sprints over to the left side. He has a man in the corner. Oh. And it's thrown right at the goal line. And yeah, but it was in and out of his hands. That was Bryce Capps yeah. over there. He should have had that one. Oh, he was right at the goal line, went, right at the pylon. Mm-hmm. Went right through his hands. Mm. So it's going to bring up. Third down. It's only the sixth incompletion. You say he's only had one bad pass, really. And that was the pass over here to the near side to Caden Stafford that went way over his head. And we're flipping Bryce Camps from the left side to the right now. We've got trips to the left side. He's got to do it in the backfield. We're going to roll to the left side. He's going to pass it over the goal line once again, mm. and it's going to be incomplete once again right at the power line over on the far side. That again was in uh, intended for Caden Stafford, but uh, just overthrown. So it's going to bring up fourth down and seven. Ball spotted at the... Obviously four down territory yeah, right yeah. here with, uh, with one minute to go in the third quarter and us inside the red zone. We sure would like to score right here. Sure would. Bryce Camps lined up on the right side once again, though. Trips to the left. And they, they move, but they don't make contact. No contact made, so he gets back into the, out of the neutral zone. Dane Patterson back to pass, looking downfield, looking downfield. Throws it right at the goal line. Touchdown, Dyer County. Scotty Dillard right there at the goal line. Yes, and it looked sir. like Patterson was fixing to run it. And he looked at the goal line there. Scotty Dillard was wide open. So, Dyer County comes up with another touchdown here. With 55 seconds remaining in the third quarter, Dyer County now has cut it 42 to 33. And let's see if we're going to go for, uh, we're going to go for the one-point conversion. Logan Cartwright out to attempt the extra point. King Stafford to hold. Good snap. Kick is up. The kick is no good. No good. We've missed the last two. So with 55 seconds remaining in the third quarter, Dyer County is now trailing by a score of 42 to 33. So let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County Choctaw Football on Jack FM. This message is part of a public awareness program from Newburn Gas System. Newburn Gas System says safety first. Always call 811 before you dig. For any gas emergency or odor complaints, call 627-3221 or after hours, 627-2571. Newburn Gas System is not responsible for any gas line beyond your meter. This has been a public notice from Newburn Gas System. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, Dane Patterson, so far since coming in, he is 17 of 23 
for 246 yards and three, count them, three touchdown passes tonight. And Logan Cartwright once again to kick off for Dyer County. Has done a good job kicking off so far. Good kick this time. Going to hit at the 15-yard line. Bounce around. It's going to be taken at the 10. Going to try the right side. He's going to try to get outside. And we're going to drive him out of bounds as he got across the third. Oh, come on. We have, have a late hit over there. No, Scotty Dillard grabbed him by the horse collar and pulled him down. But... Uh, they're saying it was illegal. Yeah. Uh, uh, what are you supposed to do? Let him go? I guess. Well, you you can't horse collar. Yeah, well, that's what he did. And everybody in the every referee threw their flag <laughs> in that direction. So. And he got up to the 33 yard Personal line. foul. Horse collar. That's it. And he got up to about the 33 yard line, and so they're going to step it off the ground. 50, uh, 50, 48. That's where we'll be. It'll be first and ten. Wildcats all spotted in the 45-yard line. So they're going to put it at the 45. Okay. Well. So, first down and ten for the 45-yard line. Need another turnover right here. And Cooper's going to keep it, and he's going to be thrown for a loss as he tries to keep it to the right side. He rode Smith, and then he pulled it out. And he's going to be thrown for a loss back to the 41-yard line, four-yard loss. And that could be the last play of the third quarter. And may likely be. 25 seconds. And 34 on the play clock, yeah, so, so this may be it. And I, I think the Clarksville coach wants to shorten this game go. as yep. much as possible. He doesn't want any more plays than necessary right now. As we have seven seconds left. Yeah, they're letting it go. That's going to be the end of the third quarter. So at the end of three, Dyer County trailing Clarksville High School by a score of 42 to 33. So let's take a 30-second break reminding you this is Dyer County Child Talk Football on Jack FM. Yates General Appliance and Furniture Company. We make sure you get what you need. Your satisfaction is guaranteed. The best service, the best price, folks who really treat you nice. Gates General Appliance and Furniture Company, in historic downtown Dyersburg, since 1947. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM WASL, Dyersburg. All right, Bubba Cobb, are you sitting down? Because if you're sitting okay. down, we came from 28 to nothing mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to make it 42-33. We are within nine points. It's obviously going to be a two-touchdown uh, comeback, but we have outscored them. 33-14. to 14. That's right. And look good doing it. That's right. But it's second down and 14 for Clarksville now at the ball spot at the dark, at their own 41 yard line he's back to pass throws across the middle and it's incomplete as he led the his receiver by about two yards too much it's only the second pass he's tried here in the second half he hadn't completed any of them he is four of 11 on the night 70 yards and a touchdown no interceptions so third down and 14 from their own 41 yard line so they have to get up. They have to get to the Dyer County 45. That first play from scrimmage, that 60-yard scamper from uh, Ford Cooper, has really been the only big play they have given up in the third quarter. And that was the first play from scrimmage uh, after they got the ball back after we scored. Yeah. And, of course, uh, he scored on his first possession on a long scamper like that, too. So we've got to stop him here. And Cooper back to pass, looking across the middle, throwing it down deep. He's got a man, and he makes a catch. And at the 30-yard line, he gets run to the 25 and down at about the 20-yard line. Yeah, but it's going to be pass interference on us, but they're going to pick up that flag as he caught that. Oh, yeah. and we, That was definitely on us. We interfered, and he still caught the ball. That's right. <laughs> uh, so we interfered. <laughs> We interfered, and they still caught the ball. So a great effort that time by Clarksville. What a, what a 
did a good job that time. We had them third and long, and they came out with the first down. So it's going to be first down at 10. The ball is spotted at the Dyer County 24-yard line. And they're going to run as much clock as they possibly can. Play clock down to six seconds. Down to three. Picks it up. He's going to throw it over to the left side. It's complete, but quickly going to be tackled over about about the 20-yard line. Excellent open field tackle by Josh Stewart, the sophomore. So the ball is going to be spotted on the left hash mark. So it's going to be second down and six, about a four-yard pickup as Dyer County. Josh Stewart did a good job of making the stop him right after he made the catch. As we said, they're running the play clock down as much as possible. They want to shorten this game because they know Dyer County is really playing good football here in the second half. That's right, and they've gone over 100 yards passing his Ford Cooper. He is uh, 6 of 13 for 102. And he's going to fake the handoff to the right and keep it, I mean, to the left and keep it himself to the right. And it's going to be down to the, about the 17 yard line of Dyer County. About two yards short of the first down. Third and three, so it's a big third down play for Dyer County. Yep, need to hold them right here. Of course, Tyler Pena can come in and kick an extra point from whatever distance he needs to. But the play clock's down to 17, and they're not in any hurry. It'll be less than 10 seconds before he snaps the ball. So they're doing a good job of milking the clock and let it run down. Two wide receivers each side. He's going to fake it to Smith, going to pitch out to the left side. He's going to get enough for the first down, it looks like, as he goes to the left side. Hicks got the ball on the left side. Let's see whether they're going to spot it. Looks like about the 14-yard line. And that's going to be enough for the first down. They're going to move the sticks. It's going to be first down and 10 at the Dyer County 14-yard line. That's Ford Cooper once again did a good job faking up the middle to Smith and then pitching back uh, to the left side to Hicks. He is a very deceptive young man. Mm -hmm. He does a great job back there. Most quarterbacks try to do those things, but most are not near as effective as he is. That's right. Has it? He's going to ride to Smith, and he's going to be Hand off to Smith, and, and Cooper's going to go down, too. Yeah, he did. But that's, that's why you stop him from keeping that ball. Uh, about a one-yard gain to Smith as he tries it up the middle. They're big guns, only 75 yards on 16 carries tonight. It's been Ford Cooper, though, who's hurt us with a few long runs. He's got 12 carries for 177 yards. Once again, the ball shot play clock is down to 16 seconds, and there's no hurry to snap it. As I said, it's, it's going to be under 10 seconds before they snap it each time. As they're trying to shorten this game as much as possible, it's 8:17 remaining in the ball game, and he's going to fake it, and he's going to go down with it. He's going to keep it and go down for a loss back at about the 16-yard line. As Dark County's defense did a really good job of getting in there, getting the penetration on Cooper. And that is the down. second sack this half. So it's going to be third down and nine. Seven forty-five remaining in the ball game. Dyer County trailing by a score of forty-two to thirty-three. Clarksville knocking at the door. And the ball is Dyer County sixteen-yard line. Cooper back to pass, throws it out to the left side. It's complete, and it's going to be close to the first down, but I think he's going to be, be a little, a, short, a little short up to about the 11 yard, uh, the 6-yard line. I thought he was going to break free. The defender over there did a good job of holding on to him. So it's going to be fourth down and two. They could kick the next uh, field goal from there. Yeah, but the field goal does them no good. It's still a two-touchdown game, yeah. so they may as well go for it here. So it's fourth down and two. They've got two wide receivers to each side. 
Touchdown makes it a three-score game. Yeah. And under nine, seven seconds. I think they're going to take a timeout here because it's down to three. Or delay a game. So they delay a game? A, nope, timeout. No, timeout. Timeout. Okay. So we have a sonic timeout on the field, so let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. Are you ready to show off your school spirit every time you make a purchase? At Security Bank, we not only are your friend hometown bankers, we are also community supporters just like you. Hi, I am Pam Tettleton. Come get your new community card at any Security Bank location to start showing off your school spirit. Not only will you have a card with your favorite school's logo on it, you will also be making a one-time $5 donation to that school. You can give back and be on the cutting edge of technology with the CHIP Secured School Debit Card. Good luck to all area teams this year. Security Bank, member FDIC. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, Dyer County, six minutes and 41 seconds away, and they would sure like to stop them here. They certainly would. And for those of you who are uh, still watching, uh, I'm sure you're glad you are now that it's 42-33, but... Uh, I know in the first quarter, for those uh, those of you who decided he would go do something different, you missed a good game. <laughs> yeah. Fourth down and two. Cooper's going to keep it. He's going to get up to the five-yard line. And let's, it's going to be close. Uh, it's going to be close as he got across the final. Let's see where they spot it. And it's going to be awful close. They're going to give him first down. First oh, down. Oh, man. So first down and go. And they're going to spot it at the... What about the three-yard line, four-yard line? I can't see. See where they're going to spot it. But it's a first down and gold as Cooper, Ford Cooper, kept the ball and ran. And they're just running the clock as much as they can. Oh yeah, they're sucking that clock out. Trips they over to the right. Hour. Trips to the right side. Man in motion from the right to the left. Cooper. Pat, uh, Cooper He's going to keep it himself, and he's going to get down about the two-yard line. And they're going to keep it in his hand as much as possible, I guess, to make sure we don't lose the football. Make sure they don't hand fumble. Hand. That's right. You know, no handoffs, no fumbles, and they run it down. I'm getting. <laughs> I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> we're, we're so accustomed to speed plays. Mm -hmm. You know, get the ball, get it spotted, and let's snap it, let's plunk, run another play. It's running the clock down. Everybody just standing around looking for 20 seconds, 30 seconds. It's not very exciting, is it? 520 remaining in the ball game. Dyer County trading by a score of 42 to 33. We spotted them 28 points in the first quarter, and we have fought ourselves back into this ball game. And we're going to get back to Cooper and throw him for a loss back about the five yard line. As I can't, his defense is not giving up, buddy. They still find it tough in there. 16 carries, 174 yards. And two, most of that came on two, two plays. Yeah, a lot of it did. Third down and goal from the five-yard line. 120 of it did, two plays. 128 of it. Trips to the left side. One wide receiver here. Going to try a jet sweep to the left. Oh, and he's going to take it all the way into the corner of the end zone. Touchdown for the Clarksville High School Wildcats. A jet sweep from the left to the right. And takes it in five yards out for the touchdown. So with 429 remaining in the ball game, Dyer County now trails by a score of 48 to 33. So, you know, that is only their second touchdown in the second quarter, yep, second, the second half. half yeah. Pena comes in for the extra point. It's up and good. So with 429 remaining in the ball game, Dyer County now trails by a score of 49 to 33. So let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. On one one. Officer, I'd like to file a report. I witnessed a robbery. A uh, robbery? Yes, at Sonic. I saw a man steal a quarter pound double cheeseburger and tots for only two ninety nine. He was about six one, brown hair, blue shirt. Wait, he did actually pay just two ninety nine? 
I better check this out. Boys, I'm going on lunch. It's a steal, all right. The Car Hop Classic, a quarter pound double cheeseburger or slinger plus tots for only $2.99. This is how you Sonic. Text not included in menu for details for a limited time only participating Sonic drive ins. You're listening to Dyer County Chalk Talk Sports on 100 Jack FM WASL Dyersburg. We got to score quick and score often right here, Bubba Cobb. We got four minutes, 29 seconds to go, and Dyer County is going to uh, lean once again on Dane Patterson, 246 yards, 17 of 23. So Tyler Pena to kick off once again. He's going to kick it high and hard. It's going to be taken as about the five yard line by Jeffrey Taylor. He's at the right hash mark. He's going to cut across the field. He's back up on the Left hash mark, he's at the 20, he's spinning around, and I think I saw a flag go down early in that return. Yeah. If it is, it's, uh, we're not going to get the ball in very good field position. So. Let's see what we got here. We got a, officials talking things over. They're at the 18 yard line. The Dyer County players are standing around listening. Well, Dyer County's outscored them 28-14 since uh, that uh, final touchdown they got in the second quarter. And Dyer County has put up in the second half one, two, three Lowry's Body Shop touchdowns. So they've done an excellent job with it. They'd like to see another one right here. Well, we've got two penalties, both of them against Dyer County. Hmm. Going to be stepped off, so we might be on the other side of the back of the end zone. I don't know. The ball's going to be spotted at the four. At the four. Wow. So, well, uh, you know, they got two half the distance to the goal line penalties against us. Hmm. Ball spotted at the 16 and march back to the eight and then from the eight to the four. Two penalties, both of them half the distance to the goal line. First down and 10 for Dyer County at their own four yard line. And Patterson back to pass and he gets away from the, in, from the end zone. And he almost got the sack for the safety, and he's going to get out to about the three-yard <laughs> three, three yard line. And he got a lot of pressure in the hurry, and he was lucky to get out of there without yeah, he getting was. tackled in the end yes, zone. Yes, he was. I mean, that was an all-out blitz coming after him. And Well, they figured they gonna, we're going to pass, and they pinned their ears well, We back. have to. If, we're, if we even got a shot at anything, That's we're going to have to pass. So they pinned their ears back and went after him. They're going to do it again right here. Back to pass. He's looking past. He gets out of it. He's going to throw it long. He's got a man. He throws it out of bounds. And it was over uh, by his caps. And if, if caps had been maybe 12 foot taller, he could have caught that one. <laughs> yeah. But Patterson threw it long and hard and went out of bounds. And he's going to bring up third down and 11 for Dyer County. 342 remaining in the ball game. Dyer County trailing by a score of 49 to 33. Okay. And we've got to get the ball out to what the 14 yard line for the first down. Patterson back in the end zone. Back to pass, back to pass. Throws it on the little screen. Over to the left side is complete. And we get up about to the six-yard line. So, fourth down, and at least maybe we're going to give Cade Stafford a little room to punt the ball. And now we've got a timeout, Dyer County. So, with the Sonic timeout on the field, let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County Chautauqua football on Jack FM. Okina Termite and Pest Control has been in business since 1962. Okina is locally owned and operated. It is now serving southeast Missouri and northwest Tennessee. Call your good friends at Okina and take advantage of their 29 dollars general pest control service for new customers only. Okina also offers attic insulation, air duct cleaning, and floor support. Check out their website at okina.com. Be sure to click quick quote to start your free quote with no hassle. Or give Okina a call at 731-285-4982. You're listening to Dyer County Chalk Talk Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, Dyer County trails at 49-33 to 33 as they are 
fourth and uh, what is it? Fourth and nine, fourth and nine. from the six yard line. So we need to. Uh, uh, it looks like are we going to line up and go for it? May as well. Well, well. Fourth down and nine, and the ball is spotted at our own six yard line. We've got to get up to the 14. Pass back to pass. He's in his own end zone. Looking, looking, looking. Throws across the middle. Bryce Caps there, and it's going to be overthrown, incomplete. And I'm looking around, hopefully looking for a flag, and I don't see any. As, well, because I didn't see anything close to a penalty. And I no. was just hoping the only way we could get a first down after his incomplete pass was, oh, maybe they got a foul. <laughs> penalty, but no. It's going to be ball first and goal for Clarksville at the Dyer County six-yard line. Give it a shot. I mean. Yep, had to you, play. You didn't have a chance. And let's see. Clarkson will have will run the football. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They'll, uh, but they're gonna they're gonna run clock. I don't think they're gonna try to run the score up, but they're they're gonna run clock for yeah. sure. Well, they they've been running the clock for the last. That's right. Uh, two positions That's anyway. Right. That's right. Uh, they've got man in motion from the right to the left. They're gonna hand it off to Smith up the middle, and he's gonna be tackled after. Uh, no gain on the play. It looks like he's going to be stopped about the six-yard line. So it would be second down and goal. And like I said, they're going to run the clock down as oh, much yeah. as possible. They've been doing sure. it in the last couple of possessions anyway. As well, and Dyer County is not going to really call a timeout because it's going to it's a little too far to reach here. Oh, yeah. They, just want, a, they just want a good goal line stand right here. Yeah. Just a good goal line stand. Just don't don't get any beat any worse. They're going to give it to Smith, and he's going to be hit right at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be thrown down, and that's a flag. It came in, I'm afraid. Uh-oh, what did we do? Uh, I hope didn't we didn't. face mask, did we? I hope we didn't, because we didn't need a face mask, because we had Not three there. guys putting him down. Yes, it is a face mask. And we, oh had three guys, we had three guys tackling him, so we didn't need the face mask to put him down. Uh, half the distance to the goal right there. First down. Automatic, isn't it? Yep. First down and 10. Or first down and goal from the... The three. From the three-yard line. Yeah. And, of course, now, Clarkson was not trying to no, push it not, in. They were just no, trying no. to run, just, run the clock out. And that's right. They're, we, they're and, doing the right thing. And we're going to... We're going to give it to them. We're going to end up giving them a touchdown. Well. Or a score here. Trips to the right side. And hand off to Smith. Well, oh, the quarterback's going to keep it to the left side, and he's going to go all the way to the corner of the end zone and in and score. Ford Cooper took the snap once again, kept it to the left side, and ran all the way to the pylon and scored a touchdown. Makes it now, what, 55 to 33. So 155 remaining in the ball game. Dyer County falls a little bit further behind. Now this is our own doing there, but turned the ball over late in the ball game down to six yard <laughs> drive. Extra point by Penny is up and good. So with 155 remaining in the ball game, Dyer County now trails by the score 56 to 33. So let's take a 30 second break reminding you this Dyer County Chantal football on Jack FM. This is Holly, the pharmacist at Neighborhood Pharmacy. We are proud to have served Dyersburg and surrounding areas for over a year now, and we are very thankful for your committed service. We are locally owned and strive to provide services you will not find at a chain pharmacy. If you haven't had a chance to visit us, you are missing out on friendly service, fast wait times, and a convenient drive through The Neighborhood Pharmacy, where we are more than your pharmacy, we are your neighbor. Stop by and see us at 1954 St. John Avenue or give us a call at 259-0404. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Well, Dyer County made a fight of it here in the second half, but now they go down 56-33 to 33 with a minute 55 to go. Jeff, or uh, uh, Caden Stafford is back to receive the kickoff. And Garrett so Sawyer comes in. He goes to the middle. The far side is uh, Stewart, and the near side is uh, Scotty. We were short a man out there. 
And this kick's going to come down and take him out the five-yard line and bounce around and try to get to the left side and get one more block, and we can't get it. He's up to the 25 and takes it up to the 30-yard line, or close to the 30-yard line. Good return That's by Caden Stafford. Stafford. He gets it on the right side and runs across the field. He ran a long ways for that 20-yard return, 30-yard return, 30 yards on the mm-hmm. return. So that's a pretty good return there. So with 144 remaining in the ball game, Dyer County trailing 55 to 33. We've got the ball spotted at our own 35-yard line, first down and 10. Dane Patterson has three wide receivers to the right side. Back to pass, looking. He's got a man on the right side. Gets those, throws it over the left shoulder. And it's incomplete to Bryce Caps. Second down and 10. Well, he's going for the long ball there when earlier in the game, that little crossing pattern, throwing over the, uh, either out of the slot or uh, across the middle has been pretty effective. Of course, we need big chunks of yardage. We don't need... We don't need five, ten, eight yards. We need, so we need 50 a one, few times. 138 remaining in the ball game. Patterson back to pass, looking deep. He's going to throw it over to the right side, and it's going to be incomplete. And we didn't have anybody else out, did we? Mm, no. no. I didn't see. So it's going to be. Pass was intended for Logan Palmer, who yeah. was over there, the junior wide receiver. I think we're running in different receivers now. Third down and 10. Ball spotted at the Dyer County 35-yard line. Patterson back to pass, looking. Throws it across the middle, and he's going to be complete up at the 30. Getting some of his young guys in there. That well, was Ryan Evans, the sophomore, well caught they, that pass. No, no, they're going to say it was incomplete. Oh, incomplete. looked like he caught it. I'm sorry. I thought he caught it, too. 18 of 28 now. Ball spot, still spotted at the 34-yard line. We have a sonic timeout on the field. So with the timeout on the field, let's take a 30-second break reminding you this is Dyer County Chantal football on Jack FM. Oh, hi. You up for a refreshing break from your day with bubbly sparkling water? Eight flavors, no calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. Popping like the top off a bottle and I ain't stopping you. Sparkling water, crack a smile. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 100 Jack FM, WASL, Dyersburg. Dane Patterson throws across the middle and it's complete across the 50 yard line, the 45 yard line, down inside the 45 in Clarksville territory. Who was it caught that and a big flag came in? Was that number four again? So Doc has the ball down at the 42 yard line. Of Ryan Clarksville. Evans. And we've got a. Got a. a Flag on the play. Helmet to helmet contact. So it's going to be against Clarksville, and the ball was at the 42-yard line, so step off from there where the flag was thrown at. It's a long one, and the ball is going to be spotted at the, what, 27-yard line, looks like, of Clarksville. First down and 10 for Dyer County. Another Henson Insurance first down. Clark with 107. Remaining in the ball game, Dyer came with an opportunity here to make it look yeah. a little more respectful. People look and see this score, and they won't have any idea how good a game Dyer County's played yeah. for a lot, of, a large part of this game. Did not look good in the first half. I mean, the first, first quarter. quarter. First yeah. quarter. Did. First down and ten. Patterson back to pass. Those are his complete. At the 22-yard line, and he's going to be thrown down there. And that was completed to number 15. That is Logan Palmer. So about a, what, six-yard pickup on the play. 
Second down and four for Dyer County. 48 seconds remaining in the ball game. Patterson back to pass, looking downfield, throws it to, and he's going to be incomplete at about the five-yard line. That was to Garrett Sawyer, I believe. So, Dyer not giving up in it at no. all. <laughs> no. Third down and four. 40 seconds remaining in the ball game. Dyer County. The ball is spotted at the 21-yard line of Clarksville. They would love better than anything to get one more Lowry's Body Shop touchdown on the night. Like just one, one more. Just pick up another one. Just one more. Two wide receivers to each side. Patterson, low snap. They've got a screen pass right up the middle, and it's going to be incomplete, and it's going to be, ooh, maybe almost intercepted. It was not. It, it, uh, it hit the ground, yeah. but that was a close one. And we had a screen play set up. Mm-hmm. And we good play, but the exchange between the center and the quarterback was uh, a little, little low, a little and, off. And, yeah, and Patterson had a little trouble getting it, didn't get it clean. And if we had about another half second count there, at the line of scrimmage, fourth down and four, 31 seconds remaining in the ball game. Dane Patterson back to pass once again. Throws it over the right side. It's going to be complete, but it's going to be short of the first down, it looks like. Depends on where they mark it. Well, it's only awful, close. awful close to the yard marker there. They're going to call it first down. Oh, oh that, all right. Another and Brian they, Henson first down. Yeah. That's 14. His forward progress is there, and they've run the clock already. 19 seconds. They're not waiting for the change to get set. Well, that was a quick spot. Mm-hmm. They ain't passing back to pass, looking, looking across the middle uh, into the end zone, and it falls. And the closest man there was a Clarksville receiver. And the Clarksville receiver ran into the Clarksville defender. defender. And yeah, that uh, uh, we had a man at the end zone, but had that double coverage there. And so we have 8.8 seconds remaining in the ball game. And who was that? Chipper Williams. Was a man, he was double covered in the end zone. Mm -hmm. So, second down and 10. Eight seconds left. Patterson back to pass, looking, throws it into the end zone, and we got interference. Yeah. And right at the goal line. That'll be half the distance to the goal, and that's um, the pass was intended for Ryan Evans. And so, we've got four and a half seconds remaining in the ball game. And so, half the distance, that ought to be the eight yard line. Eight yard line. So we'll have time for one more play. Unless it's a penalty another, on the defense. An, another penalty. That's right. So it should be first. Uh, they're still talking. The one in the white hat's in charge, so yeah. whatever he tells you all to do, you all need to do it. <laughs> now they're going to step it off. We were, we were hitting we'll them. Put it right on eight yard. Yeah. yeah. Pass interference. And if they just listened to us, I know what we're, we're doing. We had, we had it figured out before. Sure we did. But they have to discuss it. They have a, a team huddle between the stripes. And now they got the same thing we came up with an hour ago. <laughs> but it's Dyer County Ball first of, at the eight yard line with four and a half seconds left. Pass back to pass, throws it over, and it's tipped up in the air, and it's going to be intercepted, and that's going to be the ball game. So, final score here from homecoming Dyer County High School, Clarksville High School, 56, Dyer County, 33. So, let's take a three-minute break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on Jack FM. FM. Are you ready to show off your school spirit every time you make a purchase? At Security Bank, we not only are your friendly hometown bankers, we are also community supporters just like you. Hi, I am Pam Tettleton. Come get your new community card at any Security Bank location to start showing off your school spirit. Not only will you have a card with